called the unconvicted felons by the Supreme Court of India in 2013 to the apex court reversing its own judgment in a curative petition and rendering an unconditional apology to the LGBTQ community. India has made great strides in the last two decades when it comes to recognition of LGBTQ rights in India. Same-sex marriages is another proposition which is now being widely debated in India and talked about. What better day than a day when the Supreme Court is all set to give out that very important judgment. It's not just in 2023 that this journey sees a monumental uh, important step which is set to be taken by the Apex Court. But this battle started years ago. It was back in 2009 that the Delhi High Court took a view and decriminalized homosexuality. Unfortunately, that judgment was set aside by the Supreme Court of India. And the language of that judgment will always be called unfortunate to, the say, to say the very least. It would be called unfortunate because the LGBTQ community was called unconvicted felons. And once again, homosexuality was decriminalized. That step of the Delhi High Court when it was decriminalized, that was taken back. And homosexuality once again became a criminal offense in a democratic country like India after the 2013 judgment of the Supreme Court. It took five years, five painful years for the Supreme Court to revisit its judgment. It is rare if you, if you dig the judicial precedents, if you look at the history, it is rare for the Supreme Court to overturn its own judgment in a curative petition. 99.9% .9 of the curative petitions are dismissed by the Supreme Court without any kind of hearing unless it's a death sentence any kind of open hearing, open court hearings. But in this case, the Supreme Court in a curative petition decided to revisit its verdict. And there was an apology in that written judgment that was rendered to the community. The court also laid down right to privacy as a fundamental right back in 2017. And it was argued that sexuality is an important com uh, component of one's privacy. All of these judgments have the making of a very uh, pragmatic, and also a very modern India, which is in line with the LGBTQ rights. No surprise that in 2023, we are talking about the recognition of same-sex marriages. We have spoken about the key impediments that lie in the way, the wide ambit of personal laws that exist in India, the absence of a uniform civil code that makes it very, very challenging. But this particular judgment tomorrow is clearly the culmination of a long-term history, of a long-term struggle that this community has done to claim its rights before the courts. And the government has been rarely sympathetic to the cause of the LGBTQ community. It is only the judges and the judiciary who have taken that reformative move. It is across the world, across the world, it is the judges and the judiciary who have imparted these rights to the LGBTQ, uh, LGBTQ community and the governments have only followed. What Supreme Court does is an important chapter in the struggle for greater civil rights of the LGBTQ community. Whether same-sex marriages are recognized as a fundamental right, there's a middle path which is charted out or the government is asked to look, uh, to, to look into it, this particular day will be important in charting the course forward for them to have rights of inheritance, spousal rights, uh, various other rights which should be there for any individual to have their full being as full citizens. All eyes on the Apex Court tomorrow.